Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today thanks to Infinity of Nashua we have the 2023 Acura TLX Type S. So this car is, uh, came in on trade yesterday uh, so it will be listed for sale by the time this video goes up if it's not already sold. So I will have the link to this vehicle's listing in the description below. So the Type S kind of takes the TLX to the next level. Now has a three liter twin turbo V6, 355 horsepower. It's a 60 degree V6, meaning 60 degree uh, angle in the V, but pretty darn cool. Brembo brakes up front. It is brake by wire, which I'll get into a little bit later on uh, kind of why I'm not a giant fan of it, but I understand why it works. Do have quad exhaust with uh, valves in the inner pipe. Uh, those open up in Sport and Sport Plus, which for the TLX Sport Plus is only found in your Type S. Does have the ELS sound system, which does sound magnificent. All this mated through a 10-speed torque converter auto, uh, which you can see the transmission tuning is spectacular for sporty driving. Um, one thing, I, I did watch some reviews on this, Matt Farah said, and it is true, in manual mode, it will auto upshift at redline. I'm okay with it in this setting. Kind of your main competitors for this car, Audi S4, uh, C43, uh, and at the price point, this is a sixty thousand dollar Acura. It's <laughs> it's up there in price. So one thing with the brake by wire is when you initially get in the car to start it up or push the brake for gears and stuff like that. It can make some weird noises. It's completely normal. So into reverse, drive, put the transmission into sport. So let's go through our drive modes here. You have comfort, normal, sport, turn and hold, sport plus, and you push the knob for individual. So five modes, All right, so do you have paddle shifters? They are great feeling paddles. Um, this steering wheel is absolutely exactly what I want, but I'm actually gonna leave this transmission in sport because just the tuning alone in sport mode is exactly what I would want the transmission to do in sporty scenarios. In day-to-day -day driving, it's very aggressive, but to have some fun in this car, it's perfect. For example, I go to the brake, it will downshift. Once you're moving, the brake pedal is pretty good. Uh, it's very, it's all right up top. Uh, and there's not a lot of feel to it. I mean, there's no physical connection. Being a 60 degree V6, this thing sounds awesome is a lot of piped in audio but it does have a natural sound and on some uh, higher rpm upshifts you will hear uh, some snaps on the upshifts from the exhaust what I mean by that transmission 
it does pretty much exactly what I would want it to do. Where this car really shines is the chassis tuning. It is spectacular. I am gonna go into manual mode here just so you can see how responsive these paddles are. The way this car goes into a corner, rotates mid-corner, and claws out of a corner is absolutely awesome. For a front wheel drive based platform, it makes sense that Honda and Acura, they make the Type S and the Type R, Integra and Civic respectively. So it makes sense that they can make a great platform. I love this car. You know, yes, there's some things that are aggravating. This touch sensitive pad, because that's not a touch screen. It drives me absolutely insane. Um, you'll get used to it, yes, that is true, but it's just not intuitive. The way it just went around that corner is amazing. In this segment, this has to be one of the best chassis or an all wheel drive system that's out there. It is absolutely astounding the way that this thing can get around a corner. I. That's, that's where this car really shines. It's not the fastest, it's in a straight line. You know, and yes, it's very pricey. Uh, spending 60 grand for an Acura is a concept that I don't think a lot of people are familiar with. But, once you start really starting to feel this car's dynamics, when you're driving more aggressively, it all kind of goes away and you realize how playful of a car this is and how competent it is on a back road. It will get around a corner, no problem, and you will have a ton of fun while doing so. And you have enough feel through the brake pedal and the steering wheel to really chuck it into a corner and be confident while it is brake by wire and you don't feel every little thing through the brake pedal when you go for the brakes they are there and it is consistent feeling in that aspect so everything that is there for a sporty back road drive it's it's right here it's awesome so thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe i'll see you all in the next one